I'm sweating everywhere. <sighs> the record was skipping in my brain. Hi, Anna. It's Taylor. I have some questions for you. Things I've been dying to know. I think the internet will agree with me. Question number one. What would be the nicest adjective that you could possibly use to complement a person, thing, concept? What would you use if you're like, oh, that person's heavenly? Like, take heavenly and just like, what, what would you say? A generous spirit. On the flip side, what is the most insulting adjective you could use to describe a person, thing, concept? Disrespectful. Do you want to mention? Well, since I'm late for you guys, I don't feel like I can say that today. My next question is, and you have to be really honest about this, how did you really feel when I copied your hairstyle at the 2016 Grammys? Taylor, I am being very, very honest, and I would like to tell you that I was honored. Where would you rather live forever? A lighthouse or a houseboat? Definitely a lighthouse. I like to be on firm ground. What trend do you wish never existed uh, from the last couple of years? Well, I was just recently in Paris for the couture shows and I definitely saw far too many neon leopard print leggings, something I would definitely not want to see again. So I heard that you love musicals, which as if I couldn't love you more. I was curious to know if you could be one character in Cats on Broadway. <laughs> What character would you choose? Say Bomble Arena, because that's the one I play in the movie. Taylor, you have to forgive me, but because I'm such a theater nerd, I think I would have to choose the character played by Ian McKellen, which is Gus, the theater cat. Sorry. If you had to adopt another dog today, someone just hands you a puppy, you're like, this puppy's great. What would you name this new puppy? Taylor, I'm so glad that you asked me that question because actually we just have a new puppy in our household. She arrived uh, this week and her name is, is Finch. Here she is. And she's called Finch because we call all of our dogs after characters in To Kill a Mockingbird. So we have had a Scout, a Radley, and a Harper. And let me tell you, they are not happy about Finch's arrival. All right, Anna, if you were to have a dinner party, what would be the background music you would play? Like sometimes I'll go for like 60s big band pop songs or sometimes it's Dean Martin. What's your go-to dinner party playlist? Taylor, I like to start the evening off with conversation and then when we move on to a more informal part of the evening and into music, and maybe this will cause you to forgive me for my answer to the uh, cat's question, I definitely would choose Fearless, maybe Red, and then of course, Lover. Anna, thank you so much for answering my questions. They've been keeping me awake for years. You have no idea what a weight has lifted off of my life. And also, you know, thanks for the September issue cover of Vogue. Really appreciate it. Bye. Thank you.